All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. So <laughs> um, Sammy Hagar throws down on David Lee Roth probably as hard as he's ever done it. Um, Hagar says that David Lee Roth, uh, his voice hasn't aged well, believes Roth is not honest about his image and his performance. Yeah. Now, uh, I did this video about a month ago that kind of went viral for me, uh, talking about rumors regarding David Lee Roth. I just put it out there. I didn't make any direct accusations. I just said, there's some rumors out there about Dave. Doesn't mean that I know anything for sure. Sammy Hagar, during this interview at one point, kind of confirms the stuff I was talking about in a very sort of nonchalant kind of way. Anyway, um, the core of this is, is pretty nuts, what <laughs> Hagar says. Um, uh, Dave is a real character. He's a showman. He's all show. I enjoy him. <laughs> but you talk about cringing. I can't imagine how he feels when he looks at some of those old videos, the way he was dancing and moving and the way he was singing live sometimes. I don't know how he feels about all that, but I don't think he cares. Interesting. I care about everything I do, and I care how it affects people, and I care what they think. And what is important to me is enlightening and elevating people spiritually and making them happy and making them have big dreams, making them want to be better themselves. And yeah, you can hear it in songs like Give to Live and Dreams, for instance, even in I Can't Drive, 50, I Can't Drive 55, because <laughs> it's a common experience. Uh, I don't think he cares about anything like that. And that's the difference between our presence. He's very much into himself, very much into being a showman and doesn't really care. I don't know what he cares about. I really don't. Hagar says, I don't know him. I have no idea who that guy is. I don't think anyone does, but he entertains me and I enjoy watching him do stupid crap. A little censorship there uh, by me. Uh, asked what he thinks when he sees the way uh, David presents himself. <laughs> Sammy says, well, the first thing I'd say is I look at him. By the way, kudos to the, the interviewer here. To get Sammy to talk about Dave was really easy, apparently. And Sammy goes off on some really good tangents here. Um, he goes on, Sammy, and says, he's a strange person. He's a strange character. He's not what he's saying he is. He's pretending. He's totally BS. Everything he does is thought up, and it's just an image. It's nothing to do with who he actually is. He's not exposing who and what he is. And this is the line that got me thinking here, because um, Hagar says, and I know this for a fact. <laughs> I knew that the first time I saw him, I said, this guy, he's putting on an image, putting on a show. Um, he says this about uh, Roth. He goes back home and goes in his house, and he's a whole different guy. <laughs> Nothing to do with that guy you see on stage. He's not honest about his image and his performance. That's what I see when I see him. That's how I feel. But I tried to be friends. Now, toward the end, Hagar says, um, he puts on this whole big front and comes out. I'm here. David Lee Roth is here. And then he goes and hides again. Hagar says, I don't think he's happy. He's never been married never had a relationship, never had children. It's like, man, how do you live like that? I don't know. Hagar says, I'm a family man and I love women. And he says it again, I love women and children. He hasn't aged well, his voice. I don't know. It's difficult. So, <laughs> I mean, that kind of confirms all the speculation I was doing and it wasn't it's not new speculation. I mean, one of the first patrons on my channel sent me a message saying, you know about David Lee Roth, right? Uh, and I was like, what? And I really was kind of naive about it. But 
when you think it through, it makes sense. And Sammy says, I know this for a fact. So in any event, um, I think, again, Sammy is trying a little bit to say, this guy here, not credible, doesn't sing well, hasn't aged well. His persona is BS. I'm the real deal. I care about you. Come see me play concerts. I'll play Van Halen music and I won't screw it up. You know, so yeah, I'd go see Sammy. So hey, anytime, Sammy, you want to stop by where I live here in Florida, I would be more than happy to hang out, even though I've already done this, saw chicken foot back in like 2011. Sammy Hagar, one of the nicest guys on the planet, literally. Michael Anthony too, just Joe Satriani. I mean, they were all just fantastic people. And um, anyway, that's my video. Um, if you have comments or questions, um, sign up on Patreon. It's a dollar a month. Uh, we can have conversations about this. If you have any information that Sammy and I don't have, then you could present it. But I think I trust Sammy on this one.